Hover X1 back out again tonight. I've just took it out on a little cross country course. Yep, done a bit of follow me. I'll show you some clips in a second or two, you'll be able to see it. It did fail a few times, and not for the reason you think as well. Um, basically, the error message I got was uh, the terrain I'm going on wasn't that stable. So I think the message come off uh, the terrain is not consistent. So in other words, the camera underneath, underneath there, uh, obviously scans the terrain, obviously the floor, uh, for uh, height and whatnot. And because we're in a little leafy sort of uh, cross country off road sort of section at the moment, it does make it incredibly difficult. And it is a little bit of low light as well. So uh, it did a really good job, don't get me wrong, but <laughs> I did have to retrieve it from a few, few bushes uh, occasionally. Um, obviously, other than that though, it's been an absolute trooper. Um, I've done probably, I don't know, a couple of minutes worth of footage and also a couple of shots, uh, an orbit shot which uh, I'll show you just here. That goes round and round me at the moment. That's pretty good, I do like that one. Uh, the straight up one is also quite handy as well. Uh, yeah, I'm not really convinced on some of these shots but I think they would look pretty good on some uh, on some footage. But uh, yeah, let's see what you think of these, uh, these clips and uh, yeah, make your mind up that way. I'm just charging back up with my uh, battery backup. I'm currently on, well, two bars full and we're uh, charging up for the third bar at the moment. I won't mind seeing how long this actually takes, so uh, I'm just going to let this charge for a little bit of time, about 10 minutes, see if we can get it up to three or four, and, uh, and then we'll do some more filming around uh, this cross-country section. Right, anyway, we're going to get back on in a second and, uh, and see it. In fact, I'm going to go check on the, uh, the charging. So we left it on two charging three, and yep, we're on uh, three charging four. So. Uh, that's pretty speedy Gonzales. I'm going to push around to the next bit. There's a couple of uh, nice little sections coming up. I want to see if the uh, if the Hover X1 can handle them as well. Right, moving onwards. Uh, I think it might well be because I'm covering the sensor. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Right, mate. Yeah, it is. It's because I covered the sensor. Hmm, that's very interesting, that is. Right, join network. Yes, please. Okay, right. So, we'll press record straight away. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> We're going to press record. And we're going to see manual control. we can get manual control going. Okay, right, so we have forward. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's very good. And I can... I can tinker with the gimbal as well. So the gimbal, oh, we look at that. So it does go 90 degrees down and 15 degrees up, which is fantastic. Oh, there we go, look. <laughs> fantastic. Right, uh, yeah, so uh, I'll come down a bit. I am getting eaten alive by bugs there. Right, we'll switch the gimbal back up. Right, so we will trim left. Oh no, trim right. Oh my god, it's reversed. Right, okay. Trim right, so we are going to go... 
I'm going to go forward now. Right, it looks like I can navigate around there. Oh, they're back to the front. I could really do with some sort of joystick control on this. You know, uh, Bluetooth remote or something like that. That would be uh, much better. Right, how do we spin this bad boy around? Right, we should be seeing me on the camera. There I am. Right, okay, so forward. Let's get rid of these bloody bugs. Oh man, look at that. Right, we'll stop that. Well, this is really, really good. Uh, trim left, trim right works okay. Oh, it's like, a, it's like the helicopters I used to fly. Complete opposite. Right, let's see if we can uh, do a height test now. You're going to probably lose me on this one because, uh, there we go, right, I'm going to go up, there's nothing above me, so let's let's just see how far we can get this up, and it is going, going, I don't think I'm going to be hitting that tree, let me just, uh, no, I'm going to be fine, so uh, that looks like the seeding, that's as high as I can get it, and I'll just drop the gimbal down so you can see how high this is. Yeah, it only looks about 10 metres to be fair, but there I am. That's really, really cool. Right, that's forward, that's backward. Oh man, that's really cool. <laughs> yeah, reached altitude flight at the moment, so we will, we will do that. I'll spin the gimbal back up. Yeah, the Bluetooth control uh, will be uh, very welcome. Right, so right. no, no, no. There we go. Oh, that's really cool, isn't it? <laughs> right, we'll go. Oh no. Oh, I see. You can see the leaf there. Look. Right. Okay. We'll uh, we'll drop this down then. While I'm getting eaten alive. Right, let's see if we can do a uh, thing. I'm not sure how much battery life we've got left on this. Right, so I will... There we go. Yeah, so the reverse. Go away, bugs. Right, we will go... No, I don't get that at all. Right, we're going to go forward. And just see if we can get a range on this without hitting any trees. It's incredibly difficult, I think. I've got a tree underneath it now. I think I'm cool. Yeah, so the live preview is working absolutely fantastic. Here we go. Look, there's there's me. Right, and uh, that's backwards. So we want to go forward. I'm going to drop you down before I hit anything. See if we can do a low level. All right, let's. Uh, There we go. All right, let's drop you. We want to. We want to trim. See, already this is five minutes, so I should be pretty flat on the battery here. All right, I wonder if it's going to land. There we go. Fantastic. All right, there's a crotch shot. Always wanted to see that, haven't you? Uh, let's finish this off. I think we're going to be almost dead on battery, so uh, what we'll do is we will go up, up, and trim right, I think that's there, so we can see right there's a go. Well, there's the DGI action free, that should be well in shot. I'll just uh, come back a bit and then we will go. It's left on here, in fact I'll go backward. I'll put you just there. Six minutes of filming so far, so that's, that's pretty cool. Right, there we go, so that should be the black magic. And this should be, uh, hopefully in focus, in fact I'll go, no, not back. Low battery, please land as soon as possible, it says there, so fantastic stuff.
Right, okay, I'm going to end uh, the video on the Hover X1 and let's do a recorded land. And that is as simple as it gets. So, yeah, good six minutes on the uh, manual control with three bars, so that's not bad at all. Plus, obviously, all the other bits and bobs, what I've learned as well. Fantastic stuff, really. Um, let me turn this off. <laughs> so, uh, what we're going to do, one, two, three. Yep, looks like we've caught up a bit of a couple of bits and bobs there. All right, we'll put that back in the, in the uh, case in a second. Disconnect from, yep, okay, all good. That's brilliant. So, a bit more playing and testing, a bit more learning. I think for manual control, definitely a Bluetooth controller would be absolutely advantageous. Um, it just seemed, it's a bit like the cheap, not the cheap, it's a bit like the little helicopters you used to get when you were little and uh, you go forward and it went backward, you know, vice versa. Everything was back to front, so you had to turn the controller upside down to actually fly the damn thing. Very similar. And it looks like, I'm not too sure, it looks like you can only do one button press at one time. So forward, up, down, trim, left, and all the other bits and bobs. Uh, so I think with a Bluetooth controller, doing two controls or more at once would be ideal. So if I want to trim left and go up and also go a little bit forward, that'll be useful. Um, and then get the proper, proper cinematic sort of shots you want to do. Obviously the reason why you want to do manual mode on the camera or any drone like that. Other than that though, I'm completely impressed with it. I think it is an absolutely exceptional tool. For the price, it's it's not the cheapest Amazon drone or anything like that, but then again, it does seem to be very, very reliable and the software seems to be pretty okay as well. Backed up with the Facebook uh, groups, which uh, I'm a member of, they are pretty fantastic. Um, support is pretty much almost instant. And there's a group of people there which are really, really sort of getting into the spirit of the Hover X1. So I think, going forward it's going to be an absolute thriving community and i think there's going to be lots on the card for hover x1 i would like to see um probably uh some extended batteries maybe just to give that nine and a half to ten minute battery life a boost to say 13 minutes uh and uh yeah uh, other than that though i think that'll be that'll be my wish list as it would be some software improvements to the tracking as demonstrated in uh, <laughs> in low light on terrain like this, which is just uh, literally mud and dirt leaves and leaves, of course. Obviously, we've got quite a lot of bushes growing up, being the time of year that it is. The camera underneath, I'm going to suspect, wasn't that great. So it's a 2.7K camera on the front, but I'm guessing the, uh, the, the actual sensor, which uh, does the ground control, so to speak, and measures the distance, um, couldn't actually get a good fix. So. I would imagine it would be a completely different story on, say, concrete, tarmac, grass, or anything else for that matter, because it's a consistent, smooth surface. But obviously, in this sort of climate, this this terrain, um, it can be a bit varied. So, it probably lacks a little bit in low light, which, well, you probably can't tell on this. You probably can. I don't know. It is getting a little bit dipped down there. The sun is just gonna set within moments, I think. So, yeah. Anyway, thank you very much for viewing today. It's been an absolute wonder playing around with the little drone, the, the Hover X1. Again, big smiles and definitely worth it. If you haven't got one, jump on the Indiegogo. I think they, it will be now the last few days or last day by the time this video gets out. If you haven't already bought it at discount, please do. I'm sure it will sell like hotcakes. Uh, the more people get wind of this wonderful little drone and what it can do, I think people will be... Uh, extremely happy and extremely pleased with, uh, with, with flying it. Anyway, have fun. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.